People, welcome back to the channel. Today's a very special day. It's my mother-in-law's birthday. And we're gonna surprise her with a real Dutch apple pie. So today I'm gonna show you how to make a real Dutch apple pie. I'm Dutch and I know. For apple pie, you need apples. The starter the better. So I got some Granny Smith apples. And we're gonna peel those. All your apples are peeled, you gotta quarter them like so. Remove the core, and then chop them up. Here, I'll show you into small pieces. Like about this big. I love you, mother-in-law. Uh, in the mixture also goes raisins. I soaked mine overnight in some brown spice and rum, but if you're feeding it to children, don't do that. Next thing to go into the filling, sugar. A tablespoon. In the filling also goes vanilla extract. Buy the pure stuff, like that fake stuff. It's not gonna make a real Dutch apple pie. One tablespoon of vanilla extract. Cinnamon, ground cinnamon. Two table, two, no tablespoons, teaspoons. Two teaspoons. You guys can see this is my first. Ah, teaspoons don't work. Just order of business. Stir it up. No, no, no. Stir it up. And that completes the filling. Now we're going on to the dough. We need that dough, dough, dough. For the dough of this delicious apple pie, you're gonna need. Two and a half cups of flour, two and a half eggs, nine ounces of butter, and a heaped cup of sugar. Because you need only two and a half eggs, it's a good idea to throw the eggs in a mixing jar, mix them up, and use your best judgment to put only two and a half in. I know it's hard. So once you got all the ingredients for your dough in a mixing bowl, the real work starts. You gotta start mixing. Once your dough is all mixed, take it out of the pan, take about one third off. You make sure your spring form, that's one like this, is greased up with some butter. And then you start filling the bottom and the sides so you get a layer about this thick. This is kind of what it should look like. It's hard to get it all even, but hey, nobody told you it was gonna be easy. So once you got your whole pie, go in there, grab your filling, put it in there. Uh-oh, I made too much filling. Ready for the decoration. So once your whole pie is filled up, you start rolling out the rest of your dough. Little nice round long strips. And start putting them on like that. The end result should look something like this. But you can do your own thing. So once your whole pie is done, all you need to do is bake it. Preheat your oven to 360 degrees Fahrenheit. And pop that baby in. I almost forgot, we gotta do the egg. We saved a half an egg. Luckily my oven is still preheating. 
Um, get one of those fancy brushes. Dip it in your egg. And spread it on the top. Like so. The oven is preheated. It's time to pop the baby in. Real Dutch Apple.